Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Worst Effing Gamer here. If you don't already know me, Worst F stands for first runner-up in the 1993-1994 Blockbuster Video Game Champion of the World. Uh, that's right, I came in second place. That's what F stands for. We already know what the champion uh, turned out to be that year and the next year. That's right, Dr. Disrespect won the championship. True facts. Look it up, guys. I'm not messing with you. But Blockbuster was so impressed by my skills, they ended up sending me a contract. They wanted to sponsor me. And we already know how that turned out. Within 10 years, Blockbuster was out of business. But don't blame me. That's what you get when you get in bed with the worst effing gamer. Now we're on to our next venture, Marvel Strike Force. And I'm going to take you guys on a guide on how to dominate this game as we already did in Soul Hunters. So let's just get to it, guys. Today's video is going to be about the top five non-glue heroes in the game and i'll explain what i mean by that so we're gonna not include certain types of heroes because you don't really need me to tell you that these heroes are necessary so the heroes that we're not going to include are going to be legendaries it's very simple guys you don't need me or any other schmuck to tell you that legendary heroes are ne necessary for the game and these what i these guys i consider glue heroes because that's the missing piece of some of the top teams in the game right the glue that brings everything together uh, the Brotherhood would not be anything if it wasn't for Magneto. Most of their skills all depend on Magneto uh, being there. Um, Shield, sort of the same thing. They have to be with Nick Fury for them to be top tier team in the game. And so on and so forth with all of the legendary heroes. They're all essential to a certain team that brings them all together. Those are glue heroes. So we're going to exclude them out of the top five rankings. These heroes are going to be essentially the five heroes that you can work on at any time, no matter what team you're working on, all right? They're going to be the most versatile heroes that you're going to have. You can plug them into many different rosters, so it's going to help you all around. And equipping these heroes up, leveling them up is not going to be a, a waste of time or money for you. It's, it's going to save you a lot of headaches in the future, guys. As you know, sometimes working on the wrong hero for a while sets you back months, which you don't want. But don't worry, I'm here to help you guys out. So... Without any further ado, we've talked long enough. Let's just get right into the top five heroes that are not legendary. All right, so coming in at number five, guys, we have Mercenary Lieutenant. Uh, now, I know when the list is over, you guys are going to say, hey, you left this person out, you left this hero out. Trust me, there's a lot of really good heroes there. But it's a hard decision making these calls. So I went with my gut feeling. I went with what I go with. And uh, this is the guy right here, guys. A mercenary Lieutenant is a beast in any asset of the game mainly because of this ability right here apply offense up to four allies for one turn apply speed up to four allies for one turn uh if you you know if you have the mats you can take this to level seven it is going to help you tremendously this guy can go on any team possible put him on defenders put him on any team you can think of guys there's obviously better options for certain teams you don't want to put him in there but he is going to single-handedly give you offense up almost every other turn. Or it is every other turn because this is only a two-turn cooldown, which is incredible. So that this is the main reason why I love Mercenary Lieutenant. Then he's got his third ability, which gives everybody some more healing. And then he does a little bit of damage with his cover fire. But mainly, like I said before, every other turn offense up with call the shots. It is tremendous. Uh, in Blitz, you can put him on almost every team and just give everybody offense up in the raids you can definitely use them obviously offense up and speed up helps you out every other turn now this was a really tough call for me at number five because i was also really really considering black widow at the spot but to tell you the truth the offense up plus the speed up every other turn kind of beat the stun and the off uh the speed up from black widow so this is why i went with mercenary lieutenant at number five so if you don't have him yet guys or if you do have him and you haven't worked on him yet be sure work on mercenary lieutenant you're not going to regret it this guy is so versatile in the game he's incredible and then you can also use him in the mercenary event when you get all that gold so that's another reason why he's also going to be useful for him. so on to number four so at number four we have miss marvel and uh, i was really hesitant to put her on my top five guys only because i consider her as well as the legendary heroes i consider her to be a glue type hero meaning that she's essential to one certain type of team which is the hero brawlers team all her abilities are all about hero brawlers fangirl ability here i've maxed it out as you can see gain assist on every hero brawlers allies turn on turn grant assist now to a random hero brawler so if you stick her with four other brawlers she is literally assisting 
on every turn. Uh, and also she gains a taunt when a hero ally drops below 50%, which is really, really good. And if that is a brawler, also gain two deflects. So she's a tank, pseudo tank, and uh, she assists on every turn, which is incredible. It really, really boosts up the hero brawler's team. But the only thing that I can say about her is don't work on her unless you also have four other hero brawlers that you can put on her, or at least three. Uh, because then she's kind of useless. You don't want to put her on any other team because it's just not going to work, guys. Can't put her on Guardians. Can't put her on many other teams because you're not going to get the best use out of her. So this is all about getting the, the best use out of your heroes. And uh, that's what she really shines at. All right. So if you're working on Miss Marvel, make sure you also got a couple of hero brawlers. But luckily, there's a lot of hero brawlers we can choose from. So your options are not limited. So that's why I actually went with her at number four because you have a lot of different options you can go with. And she's just a beast. And also with American Chavez coming out pretty soon, uh, the Hero Brawlers team is going to be even better. So that's another incentive for me to put her here at the number four spot. But I think it's pretty good. I like her there. So work on uh, Miss Marvel if you have her. All right. So at number three, guys, I put in Thanos. Thanos is a beast. No! Uh, I don't think he gets enough love, to be honest. Uh, not a lot of people talk about Thanos a lot because you don't really see him in the arena that much. That's probably why, or you don't see him in the arena at all. This is why he doesn't get that, that much love, to be honest. But uh, every other place, he's just a beast. He's a beast in the raids. He's a beast when it comes to uh, war because everybody's got him on their defensive team. And he's just a pain in the butt to defeat. And then he's got a lot of different usabilities when it comes to Blitz on so many different teams that you can put him on. Uh, preferably you want to put him on a Cosmic team. He really shines with his final ability here. Not only does he gain 1000 resistance while he's uh, taunting, but on death of an enemy, 75% chance to grant 2 ability energy for self or adjacent Cosmic ally, which is really, really good. This is a great ability. You can put him next to Rocket, you can put him next to a bunch of different Cosmic heroes that are going to really benefit from getting two ability energy every time somebody dies right and this this is just a great ability here uh his other abilities are also really really good you have a taunt ability here deals some damage 300 percent damage and applies offense down and gains taunt for two turns which is insane really really strong ability here and then energy bomb which he attacks and then 100 drain gets a lot of his health back so he is a pain if you have a really strong Thanos you already know what it's about it's really tricky to take down a Thanos if you got lucky with a six or seven star Thanos <laughs> get away from me I really don't want to face you anywhere in the game so yeah that's why Thanos came in at number three uh, all these heroes are really really awesome guys but I put him in number three the next hero is a beast as well so let's go on to number two all right so here we are at number two guys i'm sure none of you guys are surprised to see vision in the top five here just because of his versatility he's just so versatile he's a beast i love uh using vision so many different traits uh that are really really powerful the tech trait is his number one trait that you really should be using him about his avenger trait not as much but the tech one is really powerful uh because it works well Oh, it works well with every tech hero in the game, but recently everybody's using him with um, power armor team because their tech as well. So just so strong. And uh, where do we even begin with this guy? Every ability is so useful. Uh, even his basic right here is going to apply offense down, apply bleed against each tech enemy. So if you're facing the tech enemy, he's going to apply bleed on them. And like I said before, offense down to two of your opponents, which is really, really powerful. That's a good ability right there. And then we take a look at his second uh, special ability, which is uh, Dive Bomb. This one is also really good. There's a good amount of damage, plus ability block. Like, that's insane. Ability block, you can really shut down a lot of your opponents within your turn one. Um, I especially love using this ability when I'm facing any type of Kingpin teams. You, you can immediately apply ability block on Kingpin and it kind of just puts everything to stop uh, right away. So this is really good. And then uh, Solar Beam is another great ability here. He's going to clear two positive effects off of each target. It really, really helps out. If you have Scarlet Witch, it also applies bleed on each target, which is really great. But you don't really run uh, Vision with Scarlet Witch anyways because she's got her own special team. But I digress. So that's three abilities that are really, really good here. And then his fourth passive ability. So it's an even better ability here. Gain defense up for two turns. And all tech allies gain defense up for two turns. It's really good, guys. Uh, that's why I love Vision. 
all his abilities are useful and he's got so many use abilities so you're not going to regret ever uh leveling up or uh, or gearing up your vision believe me you're going to love it so that's pretty much it for vision let's move on to the number one spot and the number one top hero that you should be working on drum roll please and the number one hero guys without anybody surprised that's right it's minerva this this character is so powerful in the game it's unbelievable that she is literally usable in every single aspect of the game arena blitz raid war and then she is the number one hero for the dimensions so that wins the argument right there but just in case you're not convinced let me convince you right here first ability bioweapon or basic ability attack for 170 damage apply bleed and in this game bleed is such a powerful mechanic it deals out so much damage it is insanely good but it doesn't stop there moving on to her second ability here heal the most injured ally for 3000 health plus 50 percent of this character's max health that's okay it's not the best ability but it doesn't stop there uh generate uh generate an ability energy to a random kree ally so essentially if you use her on a kree it is tremendous it is really really good she just takes the kree over the top they become unbeatable with a minerva on the team uh but it doesn't stop there you can use her in any 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 team revive the uh, revive dead ally for 40 percent max health apply to death proof so this is where this ability is really really shine guys you don't use this ability at all until one of your allies dies that's when you use this ability they're going to be revived 40 percent max health and then with two death proof so not only are they revived but they're revived with two death proof on them which means they're going to survive a lot longer and uh that just makes it such a powerful ability guys unbelievable and then her third ability special ability here steals 50 percent 15 percent health from all enemies and redistributes them to all your allies now in theory 15 percent you're thinking all right that's actually not bad it's pretty good but it's not outrageously good but not only does it bypass heal block but the reason why this makes minerva the best hero for fear of the darkness uh for fear of the darkness is because you are facing allies who are tremendously tremendously stronger than you are their health is unbelievably much higher than you so 15 percent of their health is probably almost over 150 percent of your health meaning anytime she uses this ability it's max heal for everybody all the way up no matter how low they are so that's why this is so powerful for the fear of the darkness and then not to mention that she applies two turn bleed on everybody and then two turn regen on your allies so i mean and then if you're on a kree ally kree team like i said before apply the flight unreal so much healing and damage going on there and then our final ability here on death change the speed by 20 percent which is pretty good on enemy death heal the most injured non-summoned ally for 15 percent uh if the ally is kree also apply a random positive effect so this ability here is great when it's on a Kree team, but like I said before, guys, don't even worry about that. You don't have to have her on a Kree team. She works crazy good on a cosmic team. If you can run her with a Thanos next to her, which is going to feed her a lot of his ability to those two ability energy that we were talking about before, every time somebody dies, that right there is one of the best raid teams that you're gonna get in the whole game. Run that with pretty much anything, but if you want to run a really 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 powerful raid team work on star lord rocket rocket raccoon and um groot that team right there destroys it you can really run through the whole ultimate six raid without a cinch guys so that pretty much brings the top five video to an end let me know in the comments what you guys think if you like if i made any mistakes let me know i know i left out a lot of heroes i'll give out a couple of honorable mentions uh captain marvel she's a beast she could be up there uh black widow like i said i was debating on her at number five but i kind of went with uh merc lieutenant because of the offense up um and i'm probably missing out a bunch of good heroes here guys but really quickly these are if you have these five heroes that's just a start on some heroes that you should be working on while you're progressing through the game legendaries like i said are a must-have you gotta have all the legendaries so slowly work on your requirements for legendaries we'll get into that a little bit later as well on another video but that'll be it for this one guys i really hope you enjoyed the video leave a like if you did subscribe if you haven't for more content and i will see you guys 
on the next video, guys. That's pretty much it. Till then, have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night.